one of those fucking days. Oh, so fucking happy. Alright. It's going to be one of those laundry list things. Of this shit to talk about. Yes, bring the girls today. Yes, why not? I got no light here. Hold up, this ain't gonna work at all. Uh, damn thing. Can't get light where I want it. I have no idea. First, let's see. <laughs> I'm sorry for the, the passing of, yeah, Stanley Grand Lee, who was awesome. I did my little eulogy thing. But, Bill Moore had his little comments. My comment to Bill Moore is one. And note that's this, not this or this, because that's no one flips you off like this unless they're kind of a moron. You, you look like... And the person who did it said that flipping off in the normal way... Shit, still can't see me in that fucking area. Like, someone off like this is... Not the way to do it. You look super white doing it. One, you are super white, the person who said that. Two, my roommates in college were from Fifth Ward. We all flipped off like this. Nobody flips off like this. Look at your, hey, hey, hey done. All right. Like your Mr., like your fucking Isaac from fucking The Love Boat. Stop it. This is how a person with some fucking sense flips someone off. Not that I'm talking about that I'm a badass or anything. I mean, obviously not. <sighs> but, you know, one of them was, well, no. But they were, you know, I knew tough people in my life, and they flip off like normal people. No one flips off like this. Unless you're, like, from Wisconsin or something. Nothing against Wisconsin or Nantucket or... I don't know, the Poconos are someplace, I don't fucking know. Anyway, no one with any fucking sense flips off anybody like that, and these fucking shoes are not staying on with the socks. Oh, so happy about that. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about Bill Moore. He's a fucking idiot. By the way, Bill Moore, I will point out a few minor things for your education, which may have not gotten past third grade, if you're going to talk in such a way. Oh, oh, comic books are not important literature. Oh, okay. Uh, then, then why did Neil Gaiman's Sandman get a, an award? I mean, it got an award for writing. Did you get an award for writing? Or, or, or anything you've done? Oh, that's right. You suck at comedy so badly, you became a political person. You suck at that so badly, you have to make comments like this to be relevant. Go fuck yourself, Bill Moore. Because let's be honest, your comedy specials were the most boring goddamn thing on earth. I used to watch them on Saturday Night Live when they, Saturday Night, when they would play your HBO specials, which the people programmed it must have been kind of special. And they were played late at night to go the fuck to sleep. It would be on cable late at night because it was the most boring ass thing ever seen. You had a, sh a review show with people on it that failed because you sucked. You never had a comedy TV show because you were so fucking boring and couldn't act your way out of a paper bag. The only thing you had in your life was cannibal women and wasting space in the second house movie. So fuck you for wasting space in that. Meanwhile, Stan Lee was in several movies that made bank. Big box office. Yes, it was just... An appearance, and that's from writing those comic books you so seem to think are so childish. Fuck you, Belmar. Those comic books that inspired people to get on to other things, inspired people to become great, and kept reading them afterwards. I've read Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I've read Dracula. I've read a lot of Anne Rice and a lot of Jim Butcher. I'm not saying I'm like some highly educated person, but at least I know enough not to be a dickhead about somebody else's reading material. What's the old Gene Hackman line from Superman? Some people can figure out the secret to the universe from reading the chewing gums. Others can read War and Peace and think it's a simple... Adventure story. I think you fall into that category of the adventure story reader there, Bill. Mar, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm not surprised at all you can s fucking... 
Use your brain cells to read a book. Let's be honest, you're lucky if you can handle an audiobook. If someone else reads it to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't say something so dumbass. Let's review. Let's review. <laughs> Alan Moore, held in high regards in many literary circles. Neil Gaiman has written more books than your dumbass will read. And has written for Dr. Fucking Who. What have you written, Bill Maher, other than a really shitty political book that no one bought? Which I don't even know if you wrote one. I'm just assuming because every other jackass seems to be able to write one the minute they decide to get into political ideology. Oh, look at me. I'm all political. Let me write my fucking book. Never heard of it. It must have been a fucking snorefest. You also bitched about wrestling at one time, and oh yeah, that's right. Uh, oh look, Mick Foley, <laughs> New York Times bestseller. Have you been on the New? Oh right, no, you haven't. Also, Jim Butcher is on the New York Times bestseller list, and he grew up reading comics. So here's to you, Bill, Mark. They so damn ugly. I'd freaking put your pictures out to scare away the roaches. <sighs> Aren't you also the guy who once, who Bobby Eden said, fucking talks about masturbating before every show is his ritual? Ugh, there's an image. I know I wouldn't want to say that. <laughs> Seriously, how did you get married at one time? Is she trying to get a green card? I don't understand. Is she hoping to get what little wealth you have? Is she taking the really slow procedure of slowly poisoning your food? I don't really know. <sighs> Let's be honest. All she has to do is put out a can of orange juice. You'll hold it up, read the concentrate part, and look at it for a long while, and she can just have you run over. Just have a dump truck run through your house. You won't move. You'll be too busy concentrating on the orange juice because it's telling you to. <sighs> Alright, you got my purse in this. Bought the damn thing. I'm gonna wear it. I have new clothes coming in. They're still not here yet. Yes, this is your old friend Elizabeth and Lucy Oswald. And I always put the Elizabeth and the Anne together because there is another woman by the same name of Elizabeth Oswald. Didn't know that when I took the name. So it is what it is. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to take anybody else. Stuff. Shh, sorry. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? Again, to Bill Moore. I mean, seriously. Comic books have inspired people. Many of the great books you seem to love have been adapted from comics. Mickey Spillane wrote comic books. Yeah. Multiple bestseller Mickey fucking Spillane wrote comic books before he broke into novels. And after he made... Buku money off a of motherfucking Mike Hammer, he went back to write comic books in his later years for that whole series. And oh, look, Leonard Nimoy also wrote comics. So are you saying those people are stupid? Because uh, no, you're fucking stupid, Bill Moore. 